Welcome to the demonstration of the Espresso Test API, where I will show you how to automate a simple UI test flow of an Android application. So first, a little bit about my setup. On the left side, I have an Eclipse window open, and I have installed ADT from the Android SDK. And I have gone ahead and prefabricated an activity instrumentation test case too, just to save some time. On the right side, I have a Galaxy Nexus device. And as you can see, uh, this Galaxy Nexus emulator is recognized by ADT, so ADT will run all of its tests over there. For our test scenario, we're going to be automating a flow from the UI test application. And this is an application that we have developed specifically for testing our frameworks. And as you can see, I have preloaded this application on the emulator. And this application contains various activities. The one that we will be using is called the send activity. Inside the send activity, there are text boxes. We will pick the top one. And we're going to type something in the text box. We will then press the send button. And we will validate that something that we typed previously is displayed in our display activity. So once again, our test scenario. Type something, send, check that the something is displayed. So now let's go back to Eclipse and start the automation. We're going to start out uh, with our entry point. Uh, and Espresso has two entry points specifically. And uh, as I type, I will do IntelliSense so you guys can see what they are. And here we have the on data, which allows us to load data in adapter views. Uh, but we're not going to be dealing with adapter view, so we're simply going to use the on view entry point. As you can see, this entry point takes a view matcher. So essentially what we're doing here is we're telling Espresso, here's how we want you to find the uh, view that we will be operating on. So we have a set of pre-canned view measures. You can also make your own if you want but I suggest that you first check out what we already provide to you. And you, as you can see, there's a wealth of different properties that you can match views on. The one that uh, I encourage everybody to use, uh, or at least try to use if it's available, is uh, the matcher called with ID. And this actually allows you to pass resource IDs from your application and reuse them inside your tests. This makes the test more durable, less fragile. So here we're going to be using the with ID matcher, and I'm just going to pre-can this for now. But we don't really know what the ID of the view that uh, we're automating is. So there are several ways of finding this. And once again, that we're first typing some text. So we need to find the ID of this text box. You can use uh, the various tools that are provided to you by ADT. For example, the Hierarchy Viewer will show you various IDs. Uh, but since we actually developed this application, and as I said, we are targeting developers with Espresso, you'll probably know what the ID is, or at least you'll know where to find it. And in our case, we know that uh, our layout is in this send activity XML file. Now, if we lo look at the top of this linear layout, we will see that the ID of our edit text is called send data edit text. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to type r.id send edit text. So now we know, or Espresso knows, how to find the single view that we are going to be performing actions on. And from here, we have several options that uh, you once again can get using IntelliSense you'll see that there is a perform method, and this allows you to perform various actions. And then there's a check method, which allows us to check assertions. Now here, we're trying to type something. So that's a, a view action. So we'll pick perform. And once again, following the same pattern, uh, we have provided you a set of static actions. This is located in the, stat in the view actions class. And as you can see, here are the various actions that we provide. Once again, you could make your own if you need the one that we're interested in is called type text. And so here in our type text, we're going to do that. And 
And so that's it. We have our first sort of operation, test operation completed. And here I like to just do static imports using Control Shift M and Eclipse. Clean this up a little bit, and as you can see, once I finish this, uh, it will really look nice, clean, and read just like English. Now on to our next action, which is to click the Send button to send it over to the other activity. And this is going to be very similar, so I'm going to go a little bit faster here. I'm going to do on view with ID and find the ID in my send activity. It's called the send button. And this time we're going to be performing the click view action. Static imports, once again, looks nice and neat. So once we have clicked the send button, we're now transitioning to the display activity. And here we're going to verify that whatever text we type is displayed. So the beginning of this is going to look very similar on view with ID. And now I'm in the display activity. Once again, as a developer, I know what my XML layout is. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the display data text text view but now instead of performing a view action I would like to check something and so we have made it such that you have to explicitly state your assertions in espresso and so this time I'm going to do check and as you can see Eclipse is telling me that this takes a view assertion once again as you might have guessed these are located in the view assertions class. But here, as opposed to view matchers, we really only have two view assertions. One is that the view does not exist. It is not present in the view hierarchy. The other one is matches. And matches takes, as you might expect, a view matcher. So this means that you can use all of those view matchers or ones that you have defined yourself to actually check that the view that you have picked is uh, is matching what you expect it to match. So we're going to pick, we're going to go with matches. And now we're going to use the view matcher called with text. With text view matcher, uh, actually you can pass a resource ID into here very powerful technique you can use another string matcher if you actually want to just match parts of the string but in our case we, since we typed the string we know exactly what it should be so we're just going to pick the simple string view matcher and now here i could duplicate the uh, text that i have typed but i'm going to be more maintainable and i'm going to refactor this out into a local variable and i'm just going to pass that right into my matcher here Once again, clean up the static imports here so it looks nice and neat. And as you can see, my test case is finished. Now running this is just like running any other instrumentation test case. I will right click on my test method. I will do run as JUnit test, Android JUnit test actually. And since my emulator is already connected, you will see that the test case will launch immediately on the emulator and run and this took about three and a half seconds most of that was actually spent probably in checking and making sure that the test apk is installed so this is very fast as you can see my test case is clean it's free of any sleeps or wait for idle syncs or anything else to make it reliable and since espresso synchronizes uh, all of the test actions with the ui thread i'm guaranteed that the ui transitions uh, will not interfere with the reliability of my tests and the test will run optimally fast. So it's as simple as that. Thanks for watching.